Hey guys, Randy and Jason Sklar here for the trailer, and this week, once again, we head to the future, though this time by way of our past, as we check out the trailer for the movie Pixels. Now, I've always thought that time capsuling, like breakdancing at a friend's bar mitzvah, was kind of narcissistic. Me too. I just had no idea that time capsuling, like breakdancing at a friend's bar mitzvah, could almost lead to the end of the earth as we know it. Today on the show, we break down the trailer for the movie Pixels, and I gotta tell you, Jay, it feels like I jumped into the tabletop video games we used to play while waiting for a table at the Ground Round in St. Louis in the early 1980s. According to the trailer, a time capsule with stuff current to that time was sent into space in 1982 by NASA. Inside that capsule was stuff like Rubik's Cubes, an old Reagan video, and who knows, maybe a pair of red leather pants from the band Loverboy. You know, stuff that if you didn't know what it was, would be seen as random and threatening. I gotta say, I know what all that stuff is, and it's still feels random and threatening. Well, whoever opened up this time capsule in space got pissed and sent back oversized video game characters to destroy those that put this time capsule out in space in the first place. And they sent this giant set of binoculars to drop everyone off. Honestly, no one likes an intergalactic peeping Tom. I don't. Well, in this trailer, Adam Sandler and Kevin James find out things about their former video game favorites that blow their minds. Pac-Man's a bad guy? This movie proves that everything we assume about video game characters once they come to life and terrorize our city is not true. Take, for instance, the barrels that Donkey Kong throws. It's just a barrel! How bad can it hurt? Did you ever stop to think that inside that thing, it's a barrel of Italian stereotypes that have been heaped onto Mario and Luigi throughout the years, and that it's something that needs to be destroyed in order for all of us just to move on? No, me either. Just a theory. Either way, from this trailer, it seems to us that Pixels merges two things that we love. Blockbuster comedy with Pac-Man eating the crap out of some cars. And we all know the only way to fight back against a car-eating Pac-Man is with Mini Coopers? Driven by a mulleted Peter Dinklage. Right, Rand, you can defeat pretty much anything with a mulleted Dinklage. Oh, you can. Giant Pac-Man, racism. Here's the craziest part about this trailer. I never thought I'd be rooting for the ghosts. That's like rooting for the Cobra Kai to defeat daniel son. This movie is taking everything I knew to be true in 1982 and turning it on its pixelated ear. Things get really cray-cray, though, when Sandler and his crew bring out the creator of Pac-Man to try to talk the giant yellow circle off the rampaging ledge. And broad Asian accent and the fact that he calls Pac-Man his son aside, I feel like it's gonna work. Oh God, that giant wheel of cheese son of a bitch is gonna kill us all. Well, I can't wait to go see this movie when it comes out in Regal Cinemas, if only to remember how to play the game Tetris. I feel like that game more than anything helped me learn how to pack my trunk for road trips. I think the movie is worth a look on the mulleted Dinklage factor alone. And truthfully, I can't wait for the Pixels video game to come out. Mm. It would be amazing if it was just a collection of every early 80s video game character all trying to destroy everyone at Burning Man. We can dream, we yeah. can dream. Well, that's the show for this week. We'll be back with a new trailer to review next time. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. And in the comments section below, tell us your favorite video game from the early 1980s. And please, for the love of God, no, no Cubert. Happy trailers, guys. Happy trailers. <laughs>